Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's interview experience of Infosys. Guys, from previous one week, I am regularly posting Infosys interview experience so that you all guys can keep updated that what are the type of questions we are getting asked. So guys, make sure that you watch these videos till the end and follow every question in the video because many of the questions gets repeated or you can say the same type of questions are only asked in the interviews. Guys. If you want to watch previous videos, I have a dedicated playlist on my channel in which I, will, I have discussed 22 interview experiences of Infosys for various profiles. You can visit this playlist for the better understanding and for your preparation. And guys, if you have, have not subscribed to this channel, now, please subscribe it because I am regularly posting Infosys interview experiences and more such interview experiences so that you can be helped. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys. Date of the interview was today only that is 4th of March 2022. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was 15 minutes. Again the first question which, were, uh, which was asked in previous rounds also is introduce yourself. And again it is very important as per the interview is concerned. Many questions can come from the answer that you are giving to the interviewer. So be kind, be patient, give brief introduction about yourself. Give about the things that what, what projects you have done, what internships you have done, about your skills, what things you like. You can include your extracurricular activities also. So all these things you can include. But try to be precise and brief about the things you are telling to the interviewer. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now next question is again many in many interviews which programming language you know. Again Python. Uh, my friend answered Python that he knows Python. Again it is dependent on you. You can say C++, Java, Python, any other language if you are comfortable with. So it won't be any issue for the interviewer. <clears throat> next is the, what is a different break and continue statement. So the difference is here. So first of all, let's see that uh, whenever a difference is asked between a, a particular statements in an interview, kindly give at least two points of difference. First is break and continue. Now break uh, statement it terminates the execution of the remaining uh, loop, whereas the continue statements it terminates only the current iteration. So what happens in, in, if in a loop we use a break statement? Then that loop is when it in, uh, encounters a break statement, then that loops end there only. But when we use continuous statements inside the loop, that uh, on the iteration on which the continuous statement is encountered, only that iteration is skipped. The rest of the iterations keep on going. So this is the major difference between break and continuous statement. Again, we can say that break causes early termination of the loop, whereas the continue uh, causes early execution of the next iteration because continue only skips the current iteration and moves to the next iteration. But when encountered a break, it terminates the entire loop and moves to the um, uh, code that is written outside the loop. So I hope this uh, question is also clear to you. It was a very simple question that can be asked from you. Next is what is typecasting? Typecasting is nothing but changing one data type to another. So for example, here a is equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 5 is given, but a is given the string format. So we have to now convert this string format into the int format. So therefore we have done a is equivalent to int of a. So this is what this is what a typecasting it is. It is changing of one data type into another data type. So in this particular case, you can see we are <coughs> uh, we are changing the string data type into the integer data type. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now when we will print the type of a, it will come as the integer. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is difference between list and tuple. So guys, again, it is a very commonly asked Python interview question that what is the difference between list and a tuple? So the major difference between list and tuple is that lists are mutable, whereas tuples are immutable. So lists are uh, mutable. It uh, lists are mutable. It means that once we have uh, declared the list, we can change the elements inside the list. But once we have declared a tuple, we cannot change the elements of the tuple. This means that the tuple are immutable, whereas lists are mutable. Next is list consumes more memory, whereas tuple consumes less memory. Uh, and similarly, the tuples are slightly faster than the list. So these are the majorly three differences between list and tuple. I hope these differences are clear to you. And guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it. And please share among, the, among your friends who are having the Infosys interview in the coming days. So I hope these things are clear to you. Uh, next question is again a very important question as per the interview is concerned that explain your project. So guys, whenever this question is asked from you in the interview, kindly give the brief description about your project. If you do not know how you have to explain your project to the interviewer, I have made a dedicated video on this particular topic. I will give you the link in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it. In that video, I have discussed that what are what all points you have to 
mention when you are uh, describing your project what are the commonly asked project related questions which can be asked from you in the interview again the same thing have been discussed in that video so kindly make sure to visit that video because that video will be very helpful for you i will give the video link in the i button okay now moving to the next question do you have a laptop so again if you are giving the interview you cannot give the interview on a phone i guess so you must have a laptop for giving the interview as well as for uh, the training purpose sometimes the company uh, company asks the person to do some personal trainings on her on its personal laptop only so again you must have a laptop for uh, taking a job in any company now the last question of this interview was are you ready to relocate so guys this is infosys so if you are living in delhi gurgaon noida so there are no branches of infosys that will give freshers their appointment as in gurgaon so you will have to relocate whether to the chandigarh whether whether pune you will have to relocate so kindly do not say no that you are not ready for relocation because in infosys as a fresher you will definitely have to relocate if you are from delhi region or some other region so i hope this question is clear to you these are all the questions which are asked from this candidate in the inter in this interview if you if you like the video and if you think that this these videos are helping you then kindly comment down that yes you want more such videos and kindly hit the like button and share it among your friends so guys thank you for watching this video and please make sure that if you have to prepare for the infosys interview there is a lot of videos which have been posted in this playlist the links all the links will find in the description box so guys thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe the channel